Hello. In the last video, I showed you how to create uh, how to create or draw shapes in Java inside the G frame. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make something happen when you click when you click on a shape inside the, that G frame. So in the last video, we wrote this line, lines of code. If you if you run this code, you will get a G frame that contains uh, shapes. So right now we have a triangle. We can also draw a, a rectangle and a, a circle and any kind of shape. So to make something happen when you click on a shape, um, it's easy. You just need to understand the uh, basics of a G frame. So first thing you need to do is uh, add a, a mouse listener to the G, G frame. Now you need to get the, rid of these uh, lines of code that are uh, auto-generated, like this. Now we can go. Uh, you can uh, go to a mouse click or mouse pressed. The difference is that uh, uh, everything in the mouse clicked will be executed when uh, the mouse is uh, released, is clicked and then released. But the mouse pressed is uh, going to be uh, execute, uh, executed when the mouse is pressed immediately. Let's uh, write our, our code in the, inside the uh, mouse pressed. Now we, you need to make sure the uh, mouse is on the shape, not outside of it. So uh, it's easy. You just need to click uh, to uh, create the, the shape outside in the... Uh, uh, you need to create an object of the, say, uh, of the shape just like this let's say we want a uh, rectangle you just type rectangle you need to give it an X and Y and uh, width and height Now to draw the, the rectangle, you just need to uh, to uh, write uh, g2 inside the paint uh, function. g2 dot fill, and then you need to give uh, the the shape that you want. You need to write rect because we created the the rectangle named rect. Now to make something happen, when you click on that rectangle. You need to go to the mouse press function and then uh, type an uh, if statement. Now inside the if statement you need to uh, to write uh, rect and then follow with me. Now what this means is uh, it checks if the, uh, the is the mouse if uh, if the mouse x and y uh, are contained inside the rect. If uh, if that's true, uh, then the uh, code inside the if statement will be executed. If not, nothing happens. So let's say we want the program to exit when you click when you click on the rectangle. You just type system exit. Now let's uh, test our program. As you can see, there's a rectangle. Let's try to click on it. As you can see, the uh, program uh, uh, exited. 
Now let's try again and click uh, and don't click on the uh, rectangle and see what happened. As you can see, nothing happening. But when you click on the uh, rectangle, it uh, the program uh, it, uh, exists. Now let's try another shape, like a uh, uh, circle. You just write oval. That's the uh, word for uh, for circle in Java. No, wait a minute. Maybe it's uh, wait. Yes, it's circle. Sorry, I thought it was a novel. It's almost the same thing. You just give an x and y and width and height. So we just uh, we just have to uh, change the word rectangle to a circle. Wait, maybe it's uh. No, there's something different. Yes, you need to give it an x and y and uh, the radius. Yes, yeah, sorry. Can't give it in width and height. Just like this. Now let's... Uh, wait a minute. Maybe this is wrong. No, I think, I think this uh, line of code here is wrong. I don't know how. Anyway, let's create another shape. Let's say uh, uh, a triangle. Let's see the shapes that we have. Maybe you have something better. There's a. Uh, there's not a circle. I don't know why. I don't know why there's no circle. So let's create a polygon that will uh, draw a, a triangle. Just like the, uh, the last video. If you don't understand this, you need to watch the last video. So uh, the first array of points must, must be the uh, x values, and the second the y values, and the third is the uh, amount of connections. So we want three connections. So let's type three. Now let's give it the x and y values. If you don't understand this line, uh, you need to watch the, the last video. It's ex explained in that video. So now it should uh, do the same thing, but with a rectangle. Let's test our program. Nothing is showing. I don't know what's the problem. Maybe it's... Uh, yes, it's because the, the Y values are all the same. I forgot. Let's make it 200, the last two ones. Yes, yeah, so now the uh, when you click uh, anywhere, not inside the rect the triangle, doesn't ha nothing happens. But when you click on the triangle, the program exited. You can write anything in this uh, inside this line. It will work. Let's say we want to print something in the uh, program. Uh, when you click on the triangle. Now let's run the file. As you can see, the triangle clicked. That's what's, hap uh, what's uh, happening. When you click anywhere else, 
nothing happens. Let's try to make uh, more better, uh, better uh, code. Let's say when when you don't click on the uh, rectangle, we try uh, we print something else. So now when you click uh, outside of the triangle it prints the word click but when you, when you click inside the uh, the triangle it uh, prints the word triangle click as you can see even when we get close to the uh, triangle it, it still click uh, wait a minute yes this is uh, this, this must be uh, a problem but uh, it's not it doesn't really matter you can see that when you click inside the triangle, it prints triangle click, which when you click outside, only the word click. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.